All right, guys, here's an ironic twist on things. My wife's best friend's husband, if you can put that together, <laughs> is also a YouTuber with a successful YouTube channel. Not only that, but him and his brother are actually amazing trick shot artists. Uh, they've been on Dude Perfect. That's right. They travel all over the U.S. doing trick shots with their guns. We're going to take Onyx out here and, and the Gould brothers, Steve and Aaron, and we're going to go walk around here, see if we can kick up some pheasants. We got Jetta with. She's going to she's gonna do the kicking, and then hopefully we'll do the shooting. <laughs> I have a little bit of trouble keeping Jetta close right off the bat because she's so excited. Oh yeah. Can't blame her. Nope. Come on, you get a buck this year too? I have not. No bucks yet. I still gotta go out with my bow though. We know there's pheasants down here. There's a lot of acres here to cover. They got a good dog, these guys know what they're doing, so I'm excited. It's been a long time since I hunted with anybody that was this good. Had a dog this good. We know they're in here. We already we already got one rooster and two hens up, but we couldn't get a shot off. Go on them up, Jetta. I got a question for you guys on some of your tricks. How many times do you have to do it before it goes just right? Oh, you're gonna make us answer you're that? Gonna make, yeah. Tell the real yeah. truth? That's right, tell the oh, real truth. Oh man. Ah, there's some shots that have taken us years to get right. So hold on, you can't just, like, you can't just do it every time just right perfectly. No. Not the shots we do on video. Oh, Come to our live show and those shots we do highly consistently. Yeah, but, uh. Hacks. Pretty much. <laughs> I hear a bird. Yep, there, there it goes. Boy. We can't let Jetta hunt without us. We got these cameras, they really interfere with bird hunting. I know. The other side of this narrows up pretty quickly. I'll probably run up there and catch it. And catch it? Yeah. I'd be surprised if there wasn't birds in here, so we're gonna stretch out. See if we can get something to jump. Let's get on the dog. Yes! Woo! Oh. <laughs> no. <One. laughs> Come. Get the camera on him, Onyx. Oh. <laughs> Give. Now this is good shooting. I don't know if this was you or me. It don't rightly matter. <laughs> That's a nice rooster. Got that taken care of. We were just about to say, let's turn around, push another piece. Probably no pheasants holding. And I looked inside Jetta and I thought, oh, she on point? <laughs> right there, 10 feet. Yeah, she's standing there waiting for us she's to like, quit jabbering. Come on, idiots. <laughs> just barely got the camera on for that. What do you think, Onyx? Good. Good. You want to hold it? That's a rooster pheasant right there. There you go. Now the rest of us are busy. You go ahead and carry that home. Klein Munsterlander is a very versatile gun dog. Um, they point, they retrieve on land and water. She's very good in water. And they also track. So she'd be a decent duck hunting dog as well? She's a great duck hunting dog. They do well in the cold, uh, snow, ice, and... Uh, and sunshine. And sunshine too, yeah. like me. I do well in the sunshine I, that's, too. That's when I excel as well. <laughs> ah, crap. What do you guys want to say about your channel and what you guys do? What we do. Yeah, explain to these guys exactly who you are. Oh man, well. And what you do. All right, well we are the Gould Brothers. The easiest way to explain it is the Harlem Globetrotters of firearms. That's a good way to say it. I never thought about it that way. Now it depends what generation's watching. If they're all millennials, they might not even know who the Globetrotters are. That's a good point too. So then, then would I would say them? we are the dude perfect of firearms. I don't know. 
Might be a simple way to put it. It'd be, yeah. That's how the Onyxes of the world are gonna put it. That's right. They're only like the second largest YouTube channel in the world. Are they second largest in the world? That's what Number I, six is what I heard. No, about. second. Second? Well, they've moved up. Congratulations. I don't know where they're at now in the millions, but last I saw it was like 36 million subscribers. That's not bad. So it's like we your got channel some and our to channel do. put together and then multiplied times a lot. Times like 34 million. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they'd be second to PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. PewDiePie is PewDiePie. 75 million. See, you gotta say it like wow. an old guy. I, I didn't know if you did that on purpose or <laughs> no, not. No, I did so. that on purpose. I wasn't gonna. So, if you wanna see incredible trick shots, whether it's with shotguns, rifles, crossbows. Then don't come to my channel. Then don't go to his. Except for maybe this video, stay tuned. Come to ours, yeah. Yeah, go to theirs. We'll teach you some trick shots. Gould Brothers, G-O-U-L-D. I'll throw it in the description, check them out. I didn't get it on my camera, but the second I turned this thing off, sounded like Onyx about stepped on one over there. It flew this direction, and uh, I apparently had three, three blank rounds in my gun because it didn't drop, so it's over there, uh, snuggled up comfortably. So we saw plenty of birds, got a few shots off. Uh, Steve missed all of his. <laughs> well, I like to make, uh, you know, the people I'm hunting with feel good about themselves. The whole That's, that he did, yeah. No, um, I would say, as we were discussing, I had the most talented shot of the day where I fired three shots all the way around the rooster without actually hitting it. That takes talent, man. It takes a lot of talent. I'm gonna hand it off to these guys and these guys are gonna show us some of what they do. We're gonna get Onyx to shoot some stuff. We're making him carry the bird, by the way, because we're tired. We had to walk a long ways. <laughs> These guys are saying they need a tractor for their food plots. I told them that this Challenger over here, this brand new shiny MT743, is going to be for sale. Ziegler would be happy to sell that to these guys. It'd probably be some exposure for you. They've only got a half an acre, so it wouldn't take them long. Well, you do a lot of farm finance stuff, right? Yeah. So if we have a $350,000 tractor, yep. and we're going to need an implement for it, some implements, Probably want a 60 foot planter. And, and we're, we're putting in about five to 10 acres of food plots. What would be our cost per acre for food plots? It'd be a lot. It'd be spendy, but you know, if, if you, you gotta look at it as sort of a long-term investment. Sure. I mean, say after two, 300 years, I mean, there could be some, if some positive ROI like with that. If you shot six hundred deer a year? Yep, saved yourself all the meat. And if you process that, I mean, break it down price per pound. Yep. It'd be some of the most expensive meat on the market. But it's healthy, it's lean meat. It's natural. So then it goes like that, and then you can go like that. Okay, pull. <laughs> Over the head again? Yeah. Okay, pull. There we go. His idea of getting warmed up is different than mine. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Shoulder, spin a 180. Shoot over the top like a buffoon. Over yep, he got it. Definitely hit it. <laughs> Who makes a guy come out here in the middle of December in Minnesota and do trick shots? This was, wasn't this your idea? Shh. I have a lot of bad ideas. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. We got that in common. There it is. There's three. Find my sight picture. Out of shells. Oh, a special request, limbo style. Work the hips, work the back, <laughs> get warmed up. Let's try three, limbo style. Nice. Overhead, one behind the back. Did you hit a balloon from like 400 yards with a crossbow? 680. 680 yards? 
Yeah, 400. That's foul play. <laughs> Do it. Okay. These guys are getting bored firing off random shots. So I'm going to drive the Challenger over there because they haven't come to get that yet. They're going to fire some shots off the top of the Challenger because why not incorporate a little bit of farming into your trick shooting? Makes sense, right? Hey, are you okay? They're going to think this is cool. Yeah. So when they lent you this tractor, did they say anything about doing exhibition shots off the top, whether that was okay, not okay? Uh, you know, they, they didn't exactly specify whether exhibition shooting with the tractor would, would be involved, or whether they'd frown upon that or not. Well, what we're gonna I do is it's okay then. Yeah, we're just going to roll with it. Yeah. Yeah, because they'll let us know if that wasn't okay. If, They're going to think this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just sixth place from the hip. Six clays from the hip, from the top of a Challenger MT743. Six clays from the hip, on top of a tractor. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, that was a ton of fun. If anybody wants to see Steve and Aaron shoot off the top of a tractor this summer, I think we could probably arrange that. Let's oh, do I it. see tractors, I see grain bins, I see a lot. There's a lot fun. of cool ideas if you uh, make the loop here. If you guys got any cool ideas, throw them down in the comments. Let us know if you guys would like to see these guys come back next summer. We probably won't kill any pheasants, but we'll, uh, we'll do some really cool stuff. These guys, they got some talent, man. Check them out. Gould Brothers, that's their channel on YouTube. They're also on Facebook and Instagram. That's right, Gould All Brothers, right. you'll find us. Check them out. And uh, we're going to have them back out here next summer. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>